see y'all hear that drum in the background. <clears throat> I'm watching basketball wise, so but somebody ignoring it right now because I've seen that already. Um, I got a couple topic requests. I'm starting to write them down, y'all. So send them. Uh, first, uh, the dive in hip roll. I might have to be tomorrow. I'm gonna be blind. I have to be maybe tomorrow evening because I have a job fair to go to, and then I'm gonna try to do it before Wednesday because I have an interview, guys. Yahoo! I get an interview. They called me. That's great news. She called me today, this morning. So I have an interview Wednesday, a group meeting, group interview Wednesday for a housekeeper job at the hospital, local hospital. And um and I it's at three o'clock on Wednesday, so yeah. That's cool. Then I have a job here tomorrow to go to early in the morning and that starts like about ten, so I'm gonna be like up early. So I'm gonna try to do that video <clears throat> that you guys are wanting probably around tomorrow evening. Yeah. yeah. Probably be sometime tomorrow evening. Alright, so the hip run video dive in with Tristan. I will do that tomorrow. Okay, um, Braylon708. And she's also been hitting me up or with a lot of good topics. I mean, these topics may can help a lot of other people. The, um, turn that drama down, man. Um, the first one is first question is how can a fan? Let a stud know she is interested. Alright. <clears throat> if you find a stud, your film, you find a stud attractive, just show some attention. Ask certain questions that will intrigue, like put y'all on the same page. Like you can laugh together. Um, I would say, like, go out, ask them out on the date, ask them what their favorite color is. Um, ask them what their favorite book is. Ask them what do they like to do for fun. And try to involve yourself into the equation of what they like to do. Um, after a while, you know, see if y'all can connect. I mean, basically, throw hands. Um, you can do eye contact without looking too, like, scary. You know, with some kind of eye contact, some people can give you kind of scary. Like that whole... Don't do that. Cause you're gonna scare a chick away, and and she's gonna think you're crazy, and I would think you're crazy if you were a chick trying to holler at me, and your eyes is rolling a little bit more. I'm thinking something special about you, and that ain't a good thing. Um, you know, present yourself as a grown woman wanting to meet another woman, wanting to interact with this person. Show them a little bit of attention. Um, try to get involved in their life some type of way. You know, not kind of stalkerish, like you popping up at their house and asking, hey, you gonna watch a movie together? That's kind of freakish. That won't work. I'm sorry. She's gonna probably close the door in your face and keep on going. Um, try to become their friend. You know, say, hey, I'm looking for a friend. And you see where it can go. See what type of interest that they like in a female. You know, that way you can compare it to you. My pastor always says, if you can compare it to something your past into the present you know more times if you can compare something to something then that's a good thing and um so compare like what you're looking for they might have now find out what they like and see if it compares to you because you never know you know maybe the qualities that they're searching for is in you and just be honest be real a person a stud likes a female that acts like a female, or still knows she's a female, um, you still can be a stud, but don't forget that you are a female, you know, that's not sexy, you, you, you trying to act more manly than a man, and then you want a stud to date you, no, um, for fems, don't try to be so hardcore, you know, don't do a whole lot of this, and not a lot of this. Feel me? Because y'all be the first ones quick to just yap, 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 yap. And we be the first ones to do this. 
like waiting for you to shut up you know too much talking can kill it you can, you girls women can talk a bird out of a tree and want to kill themselves like the bird would commit suicide just so they want to hear you complain anymore so don't bring up your past neither um don't compare your past partner stud that you used to date and say to the person that you're trying to get to meet you know don't don't do that don't compare what they used to do like if they had a past leave their past in the past like you should leave your past in the past you know um just like i said just be real be honest be yourself don't look too nervous um don't look too needy neither like if they give you their number don't call them within the next 15 minutes i mean text them maybe you send a hi you know just wanted to see what you were up to they kind of like small conversations on the text message don't like blow their phone up and don't send back-to-back -back text messages because that's just too needy that makes you seem desperate like you don't have no nothing else to do or there is nobody else in your life so you're gonna blow their phone up don't do that you look vulnerable and that's not sexy I, I still don't want a vulnerable woman I still want a classy woman but curious yourself like a classy woman um and after all after said and done you know the best quality you'll find out if the stud is interested in you they do the head nod they smile they show eye contact um and if they ask you out and then second like you want to hang out sometime that usually means you're getting there when they ask you out hey you want to hang out again you might be in there before you even realize it. But let them come to you. Not you keep coming to them. You feel me? Uh, a stud likes to be chased a little bit. But not like like you're a dog catcher. You know what I'm saying? Like you just need something so bad. Like, like you spider woman. Come here. You know, don't do that. Chase a little bit. And they'll chase you back. You know, you start to do that little tit and tat thing. And it'll work out. Uh, so, that's some things I know. I'm not stud, but as a man that likes a woman to let me know that she likes me, these are what I look for. And these are attractive to me. So, yeah, this is your man Kamari, and I'm out. And y'all check me out on Chicks and Soup on Monday mornings. On Chicks and Soup, Mr. Monday. Yeah, your man Kamari. AKA Reno Slow Motion. And I'm out on my own channel. Peace.